Hi guys, Bob is here from Dublin Sports Injury Clinic. Today I'm gonna share with you how can we manage plantar fasciitis. I'm gonna share with you a couple of tips and exercises that you can start your recovery right away. The first tips that I would like to share with you guys, um, if you experience uh, plantar fasciitis or um, sometimes it's called heel pain, um, it's a very common thing that could happen um, most um, specifically with runners. And um, if you're trying to um, manage your um, symptoms and recover, you do need to um, um, follow a very specific um, procedure that I'm going to share with you today. Um, but at the same time, you're going to do follow some um, sort of um, exercises and um, at the same time reduce your mileage of your training. I'm going to share with you a link in this video um, that how can you manage your um, basically your load and avoid overtraining. Take a look at that um, uh, link um, below and um, while you're following the exercises. The second tips that I would like to share with you guys, um, you might would like to know how long it takes you to actually fully recover. There is no specific timeline that has been released so far to say, okay, it might take up to X amount of time for you to uh, recover, but um, and they mentioned that it could actually uh, take up to six to eight months. Uh, sometimes in some cases even longer than that to recover and and that's why um, every single person can be different from um, others depends on their age um, and sex and and different type of activity that they do through the day that's why um, when you actually even feeling comfortable with this and uh, with your symptoms and your symptoms goes away and you don't have any more pain uh, what research has uh, suggested to slowly gradually increase your mileage and uh, your weekly mileage and, and your monthly mileage the first exercise that I would like to share with you guys, um, it's a self-massage that you can uh, do it yourself. And you're basically working on the foot that is sore and uh, you're trying to um, avoid uh, massaging the area that is usually sore. Stay away from those areas and work uh, with your basically your, um, your fingers um, up to the places that you feel more comfortable. You can use your thumbs and um, there's no harm if you use some lotion, some olive oil, whatever you have access at home. And, and work around the area that actually you feel sore. Now, if you've never done this before, you will find that actually it can be very sore and sensitive initially. But as you're working around it uh, every day and um, in a daily basis, uh, for 10, 15, 20 minutes, you know, just um, while you're watching TV, you can try this uh, basically self-massage and try to improve the flexibility of those areas. And, and I would say um, uh, this can help you massively to reduce the sensitivity of um, actually that um, tissue. But um, I again um, mentioned that, that to avoid to apply pressure and massage in those areas that you feel sore. An exercise that I would like to show you guys today, it's um, plantar fascia stretch. I'm gonna show you how to stretch it and you can then give it a try. You're trying to stabilize your heel and, and get your foot um, to the dorsiflexion. And then with the opposite arms, you can basically, with one arm you're stabilizing the heel and with the other one you're basically getting um, the toe extension and dorsiflexion of the ankle. And as you can see, while I'm holding this, I can feel a good bit of tension in my plantar fascia. Now, initially I can just hold it there for 10 to 15 to 20 seconds, a couple of rounds through the day. And as it feels more comfortable, I can actually do some basically friction movements with my fingers and actually I can feel great. Um, uh, obviously, it feels tight, but at the same time, it's, it's a relieving um, kind of like feeling. It's not sore uh, when I'm doing this. Now, initially, just stick to the stretch, and as you move on after a couple of weeks and you feel comfortable, uh, and then you can actually start to do some sort of like basically um, uh, massage with your fingers as well. That's the second exercise that you can add on to your routine, guys. You gotta do them every day, a couple of times through the day. The next exercise that I would like to share with you guys, um, it's um, toe extension and, and we're trying to improve the um, kind of like flexibility of the toe with this exercise and improve the basically strength of the plantar fascia. Now, you can use um, towels and um, roll towels and like something like that that you have at home. I have something as a, um, these yoga pads which is kind of like um, used for stretch etc. But you can use either of those, either a towel or this at home. I'm going to show you the exercise and you can give it a try. 
For this exercise, we're trying to basically um, work around the foot that is actually sore. And um, you can use some assistance like a table initially if you feel like uh, imbalanced or use a wall. Um, but I'm, I'm going to try to do it um, literally on the left foot um, as I was showing you. And we're trying to literally simulate the calf raises. Now, as you can see, I'm, I'm doing this movement pretty slow and controlled while I'm doing it. And it's not my only, my only, my big toes that is on the pad. I have my other toes on the pad as well. Now, um, you can uh, try the slow, basically concentric and eccentric movement in this, which means you get um, three seconds going up, one, two, three, and one, two, three, slow down. Now, um, you could try to do this in both legs, which means if you find the single leg is difficult, you can do the both leg initially and same speed, slow down, slow down and whenever you felt comfortable, then you can go to the single leg, which I showed you initially and progress it to the uh, single leg. Now, how many reps and repetition you do, you start with um, three sets of eight and you progress them to um, three sets of 12 and um, whenever you felt comfortable. Um, the last exercise that I'm going to show you today guys, um, it's basically a stretch for our ankle um, and it's kind of like improve your ankle mobility. Now um, I'm going to show you the stretch and, and you can use uh, basically some sort of like towel and cushion for the other knees that are actually on the floor and um, improve the uh, kind of like a uh, flexibility of your um, ankle and dorsiflexion. Now as you can see I'm kind of like leaning down in a single leg and I'm trying to um, drive my knees forward while I'm trying to keep the heel uh, in that foot um, on the floor, which means I'm using my body weight, shifting forward, and I can feel the stretch on my calves slightly and actually getting more range on my, um, um, basically, ankle. Um, you can um, try this for um, 15 to 20 seconds hold. Um, feel free to hold it longer and um, uh, like literally you're trying to work around your own range slowly progress that don't force it and make sure that your knee is going to be on the floor and uh, uh, basically and um, like you somehow get your support now um, you don't want it to just lunge and um, i'm trying with the other leg as well trying to hold it there i can feel more kind of tension here on this leg and um, obviously i try to keep my heel down and don't let it to come up Hold it there for 10 to 15 to 20 seconds and um, literally play around with it for a couple of rounds. You can try this uh, for three sets of let's say 15 to 20 seconds, both legs and, and slowly progress that range. I hope you find this video helpful and um, if you have any question um, feel free to um, leave us a comment or send us an email uh, you can subscribe our channel um, and it's all free we update you in a weekly basis with new rehab programs have a great day guys and all the best